Hey friends, so I'm going to show you um, what I got done um, and started this week and what I got in the mail. So um, this was Jerry's Muscle Burrow hat and it is folded up inside so it is a long tube that you just decrease. There is the other end right here and you just push it inside out or inside inside and um, you can roll it up that's how he likes to wear it is rolled up he's already wore this several times I went and got it so I can show it to you so I made it out of that Michigan um, yarn and this is how it ended up striping this is the crown of it where all the increases are the decrease ones are on the inside so anyways nice and soft he really likes this um, he would like it a little bit longer and so because he really likes he likes a generous um, roll right here so um, but it works for him right now so I got that done and then I started another one and I started that, that today and this one's going to be for myself. This one I went um, digging through my stash. This is Knitted Wet on her sock. It is an 80-20. This is called uh, Tasty Little Treat. 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and you can hand wash this and lay it to dry. So I caked this all up. I originally bought this thinking that it would be good for Layla for a hat, but I decided it's going to be a hat for me. But this this could fit Layla too because this muscle burrow hat, the adult medium is the one I use and when I measured um, her head circumference for um, her age and she is nine years old um, was 21 inches just like mine so this would work for her too but I just got the deep to I got all the increases done now I transfer it transferred it all on my 16 inch uh, chai Goo needle needles um, us threes so I've been working on that today and then I got some um, happy mail you know I belong to maybe you don't but I was doing two um, yarn clubs through freckled whimsy and oh it's so pretty out today so so pretty it is 63 degrees out and it's been quite windy it was 41 when we got up this morning so anyways um, I'm in freckled whimsy's Christmas Club and her Halloween Club the Halloween Club she's going to extend but I um, I this is my last Halloween one that I got and the Christmas one ends, um, runs out uh, October 1st, I think it is. So I'm going to show you the um, Halloween one first because I'm sure my friend Miss Jenny's already got hers. So I always get her, um, these are fingering weight. Oh my goodness. This is why... This is why I got the camera facing down because we're losing leaves and the sun it comes right into my eyes right now. This one was on her Splendid base. It is 85% um, Super um, Wash Merino, 15% nylon, whoops, 15% nylon, um, 437 yards, and it is called a Spooky Town. Let me move this out of the way. Sorry, my lap is going to be used as a platform. So this is called Spooky Town. And I um, was getting the mini with it. And the mini she um, bumped up to 25 grams, I think it is. 
So there should be enough there to do um, the cuff, the heels, and the toes. But this is the last Halloween one that I will be getting. I don't know if Miss Jenny continued hers on. But this one is pretty. Now this one is, let me see how many stripes. It is a six stripe repeat. So that right there is the Halloween Club one. This will be the last one they'll have of this. And then her Christmas one, <clears throat> which I'm sad to see it go, but she'll come up with other clubs and everything. This one was on her Serendipity. This was her DK that um, I will be showing you. It is 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. 245 yards and this one is a six stripe repeat and it's called you me and the Christmas tree this one I really really like but I think it's because I love teal so this is what this one is just simply gorgeous look at all those colors in that even a brown in there so this one I will be knitting up for myself and I'm going to hold off on this um, I have to play catch up on my um, Christmas socks and everything but this will if I don't get these knitted up this year then I'll have them for next year so those are my freckled whimsies and so I have one more Christmas Club coming because I paid for that October 1st and then there will be no more of that So that means I just have to find yarn from someplace else and I'm just looking around oh and then I, I, I Do enjoy embroidery So I did buy a pattern the other the other day yesterday by um, Kathy Schmitz. I really like her. And um, this was on her website for $2. She does this every once in a while. She will mark her patterns down. They're normally $8 to $10, even a little bit more. Just depends on how big and how involved it is. This one she marked down for $2, and I picked the PDF download. Um, I could have gotten a booklet, but I just picked the PDF because that way I have it so I plan on doing this and it's all different stitches in this one so in this one there's the stem stitch which is the all the solid lines running stitch which are the dash lines those are the lines on the pumpkin Santin stitch is the um, stars. The words are back stitch. Um, the moon and branch arms are stem fill, fill. So there's the arm. There's the moon. Um, French knots are the dots on the collar. So right on the very tips of the collar around his neck is the French knots. Chain stitch is the pumpkin body and head, which is the orange. And then the tack cross stitch is the X's on the shirt, and there is like a white little tack in between the X. Um, the collar is the blanket stitch which is the outline of that collar. And the whip stitch is the shirt outline. So anyways, I got that yesterday. And then I also got this from her website. Now this one was $10, but you get all of these ornaments. And I think that was bad at all. So this one is called Jolly and Bright. 
and there is a close-up of one so these are going to end up being let's see let me see if I it's because it just says approximately okay so that right there is the template so what is that about three inches four inches but and the rest and this will um I can't show you anything else because it is paid for but it has all of these different designs on it and what she did for the outside edge of it right there those are little French knots that she did all the way around it and then she just um, stem stitched or back stitched these and then put some French knots in it and she said she bought some ribbon like this but you can do floss you can take two strands of um, well you can do two strands you can do six strands one color and the other and just twist them together but um, I'm going to see if I can find something like that but on my Christmas tree um, when we were first married I bought some red garland beads the plastic ones that are made for your trees and I took um, uh, thread which is like your doily thread and I crocheted like triple stitches or scalloped edges all the way around that whole entire length of that garter on the top and on the bottom and it's and I'm going to match it with a red in this so that gives me like a little vintage style tree and when Christmas comes around or if I can find those beads because um, I got them at Walmart, I remember that, but if I can find the beads, um, beads, B-E-A-D-S, because um, I want to make some more, I will buy some and then I will um, show you what I mean when I, how I did it. But, so I like all of these right here. So this will be just for our tree here. So, other than that... I just wanted to pop on and just say hey and show you what I've gotten done and you will be seeing um, after this my um, weigh in how I did and and I hope that you did well um, sorry that this is short and sweet I'm really tired today didn't sleep well last night um, wasn't feeling the greatest when I went to bed last night and this morning and I'm just starting to feel a little better so um, but that's what happens sometimes isn't it so anyways I am going to let you go I hope that your Tuesday was a great one and I will chit chat with y'all later thanks again my friends